Hi, there is quite a bit of uh, new stuff that piled up in the netbook shell that I still didn't show to you. So uh, let me now remedy to this situation. Today I'll show you the last uh, changes that uh, were done in the so-called search and launch activity. That is the main screen where you can search for anything included but not limited to application and launch any of those results. So let's recap what are the elements in it. There is the search field where it will occur the main dialogue between you and the interface. It was previously shown uh, from a button in the panel but uh, it has now been moved uh, here in the main view however the panel applet is still available so just add the one called search box and you're done now it's more obvious the connection between the search box and the result view to keep it really fast to use it's sufficient to click on the search and launch entry on the activity bar on the top of the screen and the main view will be brought to front here we go if it's necessary it will switch to the search and launch activity like now and the input field will get the keyboard focus so it's possible to start typing immediately so for instance I will just start searching for Conqueror now it will uh, uh, get my input and will perform the query another important element the behavior of the result view isn't changed that much since the last screencast however it has gone under some nice refactoring that should make it behave way better instead what is uh, a really change is the uh, top bar used for the favorite icons now it takes the whole screen width and uses the same code of the result view making it look way more uh, coherent with the rest of the interface the icons uh, will always be centered until there is uh, enough room for them into the screen then the two scrolling arrows will appear here we go when you add an icon the view will always focus it making a good feedback that the operation have actually succeeded so it's now possible to scroll with those buttons in an animated fashion of course but also in the same way as the result view by just dragging around any area of the scroll widget if you drag at a certain speed it will keep moving for a moment a behavior that can be found in most of the mobile touchscreen devices because it feels really natural unfortunately the screencast application is not fluid enough so it doesn't really give the idea but anyways we are ahead in this behavior in a consistent way across all plasma you can see it also for instance in the microblogging and web browser widgets to make everything more and more usable also with uh, small and touchscreen based devices but, uh, besides that there are uh, still some nice changes here and there but that it's for the next time that's it for today stay tuned bye bye